Driverless cars might not be ruling the roads just yet, but the big players in car manufacturing are investing heavily into what is expected to be the biggest breakthrough in motoring since the Model T. Although much of the anticipation has predominantly focused on the use of electricity and AI to power and drive the vehicles of the future, motoring giants such as Geely and Volkswagen are working to revolutionise car ownership too, with the shared economy at the heart of their new concepts. Automotive giant Geely's Lincoln Co. is a subscription car ownership platform which gives users access to vehicles in their local area. When it launched in China in 2017, the scheme's initial release of 6,000 memberships sold out immediately and the service is still welcoming around 10,000 new members each month. And Volkswagen's autonomous concept car, Cedric, could bring an entire new meaning to public transport. Peter Vuda is Vehicle Design Director at Volkswagen's Future Centre Europe. Our mission, if you like, is to look far into the future and to, to find out what are the needs of our future customers, of our future users, what are their needs in, in their environment, and to understand the challenges we're having ahead of us and to find mobility solutions. Cities are getting more and more compressed and traffic is getting worse and traffic is getting denser and denser. There is a limit we can tackle and then we need to find new solutions. And I think in the future it doesn't make sense to own a car when you live in one of our cities. The car is just costing lots of money while it is sitting on the street and occupying 10 square meters of space, of valuable city space. So therefore, um, ideas like autonomous driving, like autonomous shuttles, pods that are taking you from A to B, fully autonomous, these kind of solutions will help to, to, yeah, to have a better quality again in the city. The sharing economy has enabled people to monetize their properties when not in use via platforms such as Airbnb. Peter says vehicles like the Cedric will allow for monetizing our vehicles to become more commonplace. If I own a Cedric, why shouldn't Cedric earn money while I am not using it? There are many, many possibilities and scenarios. Like if, I own, if you own a Cedric, if I own a Cedric, I, first of all, I could share it easily with my friends, with people I trust. If I don't need it, I send you my QR code and you can open and maneuver the Cedric like you want. So sharing it in your community, with your friends, with maybe with your neighbors. When you don't need it, somebody else is using it. And then the next step would be handing it out to foreigners, kind of as a business opportunity. Could be a rolling office that you are providing to your customers. Could be a rolling cafe. Could be a rolling kindergarten. It could be basically their almost endless opportunity. Designed as a spacious cabin which seats up to four passengers, the vehicle is entirely autonomous and where we'd normally expect a windscreen, there's a large interactive screen. I am your car. I recognise your voice from when you made the booking. A version of the Cedric is currently on display at London's V&A Museum, giving the public a glimpse of what the technology might offer. But although this concept is being tested by Volkswagen, it could be a while before we see the Cedric on our roads. Technology-wise, we, are, we can be there pretty soon. In two or three years, the car would be capable to do all this. In terms of ethical questions, in terms of regulations, that will take longer. It's not only a hardware that you are selling to, to your customers. You have to design basically and to create a mobility system. And that only goes together if you talk with the city, with the communities together about their needs. Berlin has different needs compared to Paris and again to compared to London. So the needs of the cities are also not equal. It's more a question of timing. The use cases are pretty equal. In all cities we have elderly people who want to be mobile again. In all cities we have the kids. In all cities we have business people who are stressed and want to get from A to B as soon as possible and do their work while they are commuting. So the use cases are pretty equal, it's, it's rather a question of time.